Sorry there guys, didn't see you there. Welcome back to Striker Riker Fishing. Today, I went and bought a whole bunch of these Beaver Dam tip-ups. And I'm gonna show you guys some at-home modifications you guys can do to your Beaver Dam tip-ups to make your day out on the ice better. So welcome to the show, and let's trick your tip-up. First thing we're going to do for you guys today is show you just a couple types of tip-ups you can have at your home and yeah so let's show you guys what I got so first one that I'm gonna show you guys is gonna be this thermal this is a circle thermal right here um, you know I've had you know here and there good things about it I personally do not enjoy them as much but Everyone has their own preferences, so I'm not going to fight on that one. So there's uh, your thermal circle tip up. Then, of course, the two plastic um, tip ups. Um, I've used these for a couple years. I mean, they get the job done. Um, they're not as strong, but um, they're definitely one of the go to's if you want something light, uh, especially if you have a large amount. A little bit of a weird one that probably a lot of you guys haven't seen would be this one right here. This one is an Eagle Claw Magnum Elite. Um, and this one, it's all, all wood construction. It's got a big reel here. But uh, yeah, it folds down real nicely, real flat. Um, I've never used one of these. Um, I've heard good things about them. But that is that one. And of course, you guys already know by this video, good old beaver dams. Now, beaver dams, they're sworn to be one of the best tip ups ever made. And also, they're made in great USA. So, this one, obviously, flag folds up. This is how you come. You guys know. Tip up up, you're running. And the other thing is it also has your line guide here. So you get your line, it's gonna run through that guide instead of just running off your reel, which is awesome. So there's just a couple of your tip ups that you could be owning right now. Today, we're gonna focus on this one right here and doing some modifications. Now, I'm not saying that most of these modifications are not gonna work on these other tip ups, but this is the one that all the modifications are gonna work on beautifully. So let's get into it and let's modify this tip up. Okay, so you're looking at your tip up, it's your first modification. I guess I wouldn't really call it a modification for this one, but when you're buying line, make sure you guys are buying ice line, something that is made for the ice. Now this is literally called ice line. I use 30 pound braid um, and yeah, all you're gonna do is throw this on your spool and uh, I'm gonna show you guys some more modifications to make on your tip up.
Perfect. Now, we got our tip up all lined up here. I hope you guys like that little trick that I threw in. I'm gonna show you guys our first modification truly to our beaver dam tip up. So, first thing you're gonna do, is you're gonna go to, I don't know, Fleet Farm, Menards, Home Depot, somewhere, you know, you're gonna be going and grab one of these cable wrap Velcro straps. Now these are 10 inches. I'd recommend getting something about this size. If you get any smaller, it doesn't seem to wrap the whole tip up as well. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna find your flag and find your spool and you're gonna go right in the middle here where there's just wood. And you're just gonna wrap it. Yeah, that easy. And take it, you're gonna wrap it, make sure she's tight and that's it. So what this is gonna do is, you know, you're done with your day, tip up fishing, blah, blah, blah. You're going and you're really tired, but you got those treble hooks or those circle hooks or those octopus hooks, whatever you got. And you don't want to have your leader kink. And that's also what I'd recommend is getting a leader. But you're gonna go take your line you're gonna open up this Velcro here, and you're just gonna set your line underneath that Velcro. What that's gonna do is you're gonna be able to, of course, reel this up nice and tight. Your line is now tight. Grab your flag, throw it up there. And now your hook isn't in your keeper. Your leader won't be getting kinked at all. It's not gonna have those twirlies that you got looking like a slinky. And yeah, there you go. There's our first very easy modification on your beaver dam. Okay, the second modification for your beaver dam tip up, it's gonna be a little bit more than just throwing on a Velcro strip, but it's gonna be helping basically the same thing it's, it, this is doing. Um, you're going to make sure that that hook doesn't start sliding away, moving, and catch someone, catch something, get into your bags. I know we've all done it. It's really sucky trying to get those out of anything. So what I'm going to recommend is going over and buying some eyelets here, some screwing eyelets. So basically, what you're going to do... So you're gonna pick a side of your tip up. Now, depending on if you run really long leaders or really short leaders, this is gonna depend on what you're gonna to wanna to do. I like to run something around a foot and a half to two foot of leader length. So that's gonna make it a problem from here to here, it's only about a foot, maybe a foot and a half. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to drill out a hole here on this side of your tip up and screw in an eyelet. Now, when you're drilling in a hole, make sure your drill bit is smaller than these. Just match it up with your size. Uh, go ahead and screw in your eyelet. Make sure you can hook it in. But for those of you that like to have longer leaders, like I do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw in an eyelet down here, of course, but I'm also gonna move up here and I'm gonna screw an eyelet up here. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna run my line I'm gonna run it around that eyelet and I'm gonna hook it into this. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna minimize all your kinks in your leader and also make sure that your hook's not swinging around. That is your second modification to the tip up. Okay, so here we go. We got a drill bit. We're all ready to go. Now this, nice and slow. Just enough for that to go in. Cool. And now I went and I bought these eyelets here. These eyelets are size 13 16 And I had to use the drill bit that is a 1 16th. Now, I'm gonna go till you want to here. I like to go a little high on this one so then my line can wrap around it. But there you go. There is 
the first eyelet of two. Now, I would like to say right now that this is not the only thing you guys can do with these eyelets. Now, other people like to take cork and glue it right on the tape tip up and put the hook right into it. Okay, I've seen that. It works amazing, whatever you'd like to do. Other people like to take magnets and glue them on here and that's also totally fine. It works. You figure out what you like to do this is what I like to do and this is what works for me. So that's what I'd like to say. Let's keep going. We've gotten our eyelets in now, top and bottom. You guys can see it's already looking pretty sweet, but there's a lot more that we can do to this. The next thing isn't really a modification as much as it is maintenance. Everyone's familiar with WD-40. WD-40 is absolutely amazing. You can use it on about everything. Now what you're going to want to do is spray all of your metal parts with this. This is going to stop it from corroding, um, no more rust. It's going to help not have the ice stick to your tip up. And also it's just going to make your life of your tip up last way longer. So make sure you guys spray everything down, wipe it, make sure you guys take a paper towel, dry it up, but all those little crevices and creases, it's gonna help that. So there you go. Next modification. You have two different options here. Number one, and probably the easiest that you can do is of course, take a Sharpie, write your name and write your number on this. Now that sounds very plain, plain Jane, but you don't know when you're going to lose your tip up. It happens and we all have it happen at some point. So do yourself a favor, write your name and write your phone number. Now what I'm going to do is I have this mag torch here. Now this is usually made for soldering, but if you have a wood burning kit, I'd highly recommend using your wood burning kit. That's going to make it so that it doesn't go and smear on you. And also it's going to last on your tip up. So there's your two different options there. Get it on there and save your tip up. That is hot. <laughs> okay, your next modification. You guys know the flags. You guys already know the red and the orange. But did you guys know that Beaver Dam makes American flags, pirate ship flags? They make they make Canadian flags. They make flags that are custom made. So for the next modification that I would recommend is go on out, go look on websites and go find yourself some cool flags. Make them personalized, make them awesome. You guys will be seeing soon in my next few videos what flags I'm going with, but we're gonna save those for later on. Anyways, let's get to the next modification. And next up on the list for modifications, this little guy right here. Now, you guys might not be really too familiar with this, but these are night lights. These are made by Frabil. 
And what happens is you connect them up to your flag, just like so. Snaps on, just like that. And the only other thing is there's this little switch on this back side. And you're going to, of course, turn it on. And when it is down, you guys are going to see that no lights at all. But as soon as the flag goes off, you guys see that it flashes. So it's really cool, handy dandy little thing, especially at night time. If you guys are thinking about doing any night fishing for ice fishing, uh, I'd highly recommend it. Um, I'm going to throw down right here what the price is um, for this specific one. Now there is knockoff ones that you guys can buy. Go for it. Do your research. Definitely check in the reviews. But this is something that I've bought almost eight of them now. And I'm very, very happy with them and haven't had any problems with them yet. So there's your next modification for your beaver dam tip up. For your next modification, this one's kind of a major one. Now, you may or may not want to do this. And the biggest disclaimer I can give is once you do it, there's no going back. So, what I'm going to say is right here, your guide right off of your spool here, it's not going to let your treble hook go through it. So, when you're reeling this up, Obviously beaver dams don't have the little grabby thing on the end where you can just grab it and reel it up. So you just use one finger and you reel it up that way. Now some people don't have that hand-eye coordination and I understand that. So what they like to do is they like to take this and they make a nice notch all the way through here on one side of this guide. So what you do is you take either a hacksaw, something nice and light with a very very high tooth amount and go right through this and make sure you sand it down very very well if you don't sand it down it's going to start cutting your line if a big fish grabs it pulls it towards there yeah you can understand so what you're going to want to do is you're going to cut right through that eyelet right through the side you're going to sand it down really well and what that's going to allow it to do is basically you are going to be able to take your hook, take it all the way out of that hook keeper, just like that. I don't have a hook on it right now. And obviously you can just hand wind it then, which makes it easier for some people that have a tougher hand-eye coordination. So there is your next modification. I'm not gonna do that. I'm pretty good at the whole finger spin, but that is an option for your modificating your beaver dam tip ups. And one of my favorite modifications of all time that I actually created. People have maybe done this before, but I definitely got this idea just on a whim. So I'm gonna show you guys, you guys know your flags definitely low light time to night time it's hard to see those flags and you take your flashlight you flash around you may see them you may not so what I did was I took reflective tape and I put it on the ends of my tip ups now here's one of my tip ups this is a polar and that's all I did I took on both sides reflective tape now what this is going to do is this is going to make it low, low visibility versus nighttime, both of them. It's going to make it be able to see that tip up. If it's up and down, obviously you have a fish. If it's vertical, then obviously you know you don't have a fish still. So that's why I put it where I put it. Now you can make your whole flag out of that reflective tape. You can put it wherever you want, but that is why I put it where I put it. The only thing I would recommend is make sure you guys get a good brand of reflective tape. If you don't get a good brand of reflective tape, it's going to just crumble away. It's not going to last and it also won't have that reflective property that you really are looking for. So make sure you invest in some good reflective tape. Um, if you guys can find some 3M reflective stuff, highly recommend. That's what I used. and. Yeah, so there's our next modification. 
And your final modification for your beaver dam tip-up is not actually the tip-up itself. It's what you carry the tip-up in. Now there's a lot of Velcro around your five gallon bag, you know, stick them in tip up holders. Okay. Or you could just have your five gallon bucket. Okay. But how many is that actually going to hold? Maybe three, maybe four. And luckily you have your eyelets and then it doesn't get tangled. But I'm going to show you guys what I made right now. So here you go. This is my fully custom made tip up bucket that I made. Now this is all PVC pipe with of course drain caps on the end so then the snow will melt out of them. It is held together by the purple stuff. And I put my name and my phone number. Now I am blocking out my phone number. But I put my phone number and my name in there so if anyone find, found my bucket I'd hope that they'd call my number, but all you do is you take your tip off, throw it in there. It can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you have a whole bucket right on the inside. You can fit absolutely everything else. Now I usually throw my Vex right in here, throw all the tipper tip ups in here, and carry it around, hold the hole as I'm drilling holes, throw them, set them up, and I'm all done. So that is the last modification. I'm gonna show you guys for your Beer Dam tip-ups. And that's it guys. That is how you trick your tip-up. I'm happy to say that I am very happy with my new Beaver Dam tip-ups and I'm looking forward to this hard water season this year. So if you guys have any comments, questions, or any concerns, definitely throw it down there. If you guys have any other things that you guys do with your tip-ups that I didn't mention, definitely leave it down there. I always like to make improvements and I always love hearing from you guys. And of course, remember to throw a subscription in and throw a like on this video. I always appreciate you guys. As always, you guys know the drill. Remember to send it and fish on.